So what are the top five Shopify apps which you can implement today to greatly increase your conversions? Before I get into it, I just wanna say thanks to all the new people that have been subscribing and sending me messages on Instagram. It really does motivate you to keep pushing out daily, daily videos. Um, so yeah, I appreciate you guys. I'm gonna keep bringing new content every single day. Um, and yeah, let's just get into it. Okay, so if you are completely new to Shopify um, and setting up apps and stuff, this is how you can install it. So when you're in your Shopify dashboard, you're just gonna come over here, uh, you click on apps, and you can click on visit the Shopify app store. Uh, it will take you here, just let it load, and then you basically just search for whatever app you wanna install. Now, in the top five, I have not included a Berlo. Um, this was in the previous parts of this kind of mini series that I'm doing. Um, this is a very, very vital app to have if you're dropshipping. It's basically going to allow you to connect an AliExpress product into Shopify. Uh, but we went over that previously, so if you are unsure of kind of what I mean and how that works, definitely go back and watch the series from the beginning. All right, so the first app that I want to recommend installing, and it's completely free, um, it's called Bold Multi Currency. Now, I really, really do recommend installing this app regardless of if you're just showing ads to the United States or just to the UK. Um, in general, I think you should just have this app. I think it makes your store look a lot bigger than what it probably actually is, and it makes it look like it's an international brand. Um, it's a fairly simple app. Essentially, it just shows uh, whatever country the person's in in the bottom left, and it just converts all the prices to their own currency. Uh, so, for example, if you're in the United States, uh, your currency would be dollars. If you come to a store and, you know, they're showing the prices and stuff in like, I don't know, Chinese yen or something, the chances of you buying is really, really slim because, number one, you're going to be a bit confused as to like what things are. And remember, people are lazy. People are not going to go and convert pricings and stuff. The other thing is, if it's in their local currency, people will tend to think that the brand is either really close to them um, or has a local presence, so there's a lot more trust. Um, I'm not gonna go through all of this. It's really, really easy to set up. Um, you just basically add the app and you have to just follow their steps. Um, really, really easy to install. Then the second app that I do recommend, now this app is free for the first 14 days and then it's $10 a month, um, and it's the Bold Upsell app. If you search upsell on the app store, uh, you'll see there's thousands of apps uh, which also do upsells. In my opinion, this is the best one. This is the one that I always use. Um, you may be able to find ones with longer trials and stuff, um, but the reason why this is really, really good is because, like it says, it's smart. Okay, so before I get into that, if you're completely new, what is an upsell? An upsell is essentially an offer on top of the original offer. Okay, so if you show an ad, for example, for say this, this shirt, and someone comes to the, the store to buy this shirt, once they click add to cart, there's going to be a little pop-up, I think they might even have a picture, yeah they do, there'll be a little pop-up like this, okay, that will come up and say, hey, we know you like this shirt, this jacket goes really, really well with it, and if you buy both, we'll give you 10% off the jacket, something like that, and then people just have to press one button, and then they buy two, all right, now why is that important? Okay, so, when you pay Facebook or Google to get someone to the store, that price doesn't change whether they buy one product or two products. Okay, so your base cost of getting people to the store stays the same. But if they buy two products or three products or four products, obviously your revenue is much higher. And because your cost is not changing, your profit overall is a lot higher. So wherever you can possible, you wanna upsell. Um, this app, in the way that they've structured it, is it's got a whole lot of upsell and it has cross-sell funnels. Um, it's also got analysis, so it analyzes like what people are most likely to choose, um, and it kind of puts it together that way. And then you can also do a whole lot of funnels. You can do BOGO, which is buy one, get one free. Um, you can put upsell after checkout, which is really, really important. Um, yeah, this is one of the best apps that I've seen that do upsells. Um, but you can also just search and I'm sure you'll be able to find a different one if the price is a little bit too expensive for you. Um, but I would only recommend installing this because of the free trial once you start running ads. Uh, so don't install this and not have a product and not have any ads going um, and then be paying and not actually using it. Okay. 
The next app is Looks. This is essentially just a photo review app, okay? So it puts these really, really nice reviews um, at the bottom of the page. Again, you always wanna have some form of reviews on your, your products. Number one, because if people are confused and like they have questions, sometimes they are in the comments. And then most importantly, people wanna know that this brand is legit. So if they can see that actual people are commenting and there's pictures, because if you go look here, in order to put a comment, you have to take a picture of the product. All right, now I know what you guys are thinking. You're probably thinking, okay, but I don't, I don't have this product, um, so I can't take pictures and I don't have any customers and stuff um, that can kind of buy the product. That's not an issue because on AliExpress, pretty much if you find a product that has, I would say like 100 orders or so, guaranteed there's hundreds and hundreds of reviews. Okay, and this app is really, really good. It essentially goes and pulls all the reviews from AliExpress and just makes it look a lot better uh, on your store. Another one that you can look at is called Ali Reviews. Um, I think it is also a little bit cheaper. Um, yeah, free plan available. Um, so this is the one that I started off using. The only reason I changed over to Looks is Looks just looks a lot nicer um, on the on the page, bit of a tongue twister there, but that's how they've designed it, to look really clean, look really new, really modern, uh, whereas AliExpress kind of, they try to do the same thing. In my opinion, it just it doesn't look as nice, but both of them do exactly the same thing. They just pull all the reviews from AliExpress and put it on your store to give the impression that you have a big store where people are commenting and you know taking part. So that's the third one. The fourth one that I think is an absolute must is some form of tracking and notifications. Okay, I use Aftership. Um, it is again, again, 14 days free trial. However, they do charge in a separate way. So, like I pay, I think it's twenty dollars every month, um, and then that gives you like a thousand notifications or a thousand orders or something, and then it just bills me every time it goes over that. Um, but essentially, what this is is it allows you to put a track your order page on your site and if people enter their order number and their tracking code it will go and fetch all the updates from all the tracking places um, i think it does mention somewhere here that they support um, like a million different um, 450 carriers right so that pretty much covers everything um, pretty much every single product that you get on aliexpress or, or through some kind of chinese retailer they will have the ability to integrate and track with them and it's really really simple so once you've installed the app um, this is the most important thing is it automatically updates the customer with emails so it will send out an email and say hey your order has just been dispatched then it will be your order has just arrived um, in your local country at your local post office your order is out for delivery today um, so if you've ever ordered anything off amazon you'll see that they do this it works really really well especially because remember it's not Amazon. Um, with AliExpress is gonna take a little bit longer, generally about 14 to 20 days. So at that point, a lot of people are wondering, you know, is this a scam? Am I gonna get my product? What's happening? Um, and by doing this, pretty much people don't have to contact customer support because they can see, you know, that their order is moving along. Um, so you don't have the customer support headaches. People are not gonna be issuing refunds and chargebacks. So it just makes your life a lot easier. And also when people come to the site to buy, if they can see that they have the ability to track, they most likely will be more willing to buy just because it kind of puts out that, you know, that idea in their mind that this could be a scam or, or anything like that. Okay, then the next one. Um, the next one is, I believe I also spoke about it in a previous one, but it is MailChimp, okay? Now MailChimp is essentially just a email collection software, that's what they do. So they build massive lists of huge emails. So every time, if you have the app installed, every time someone orders on your store, um, they're gonna have to enter the, in their email. The email will then be added into MailChimp and you can send them things like promotional emails uh, for new products, you can send them coupons, offers. Um, the app also allows you to do a whole lot of things like pop-ups and stuff, but that's a bonus app that I've got for you that does it a little bit better. Um, and then the best thing about MailChimp is it is completely free for your first 2,000 emails, okay? Um, not 2,000 emails sent, but 2,000 email subscribers, so the actual email addresses. 
Um, and if you have 2,000 email addresses, you most likely are doing a lot of revenue. So, you know, then this doesn't really, really matter. I did speak about earlier Klaviyo. Klaviyo is, in it, I think most people's opinion, a little bit better than MailChimp. It allows you to do a lot more advanced funnels. Um, it kind of sets everything out like a mind map and you can connect certain emails to that and then you can build a complete flow. That works really, really nicely. Um, the problem with Klaviyo is it is expensive. Um, so I would just recommend going with MailChimp. Most importantly though, huge, huge, huge thing. Um, and this gets overlooked time and time and time again. But guys, abandon cart emails. Okay, what is abandoned cart emails? When people come to your store and they add the product to checkout and then they go to checkout, but don't actually pay. There's a couple of reasons that they do that and I'm probably gonna do a separate video. But the main point here is if they got that far, they most likely are interested in the product and they wanna buy it. There was just some problem why they didn't. So you wanna send them emails reminding them about the order so they don't forget about it so that they can come back. Or eventually after three, four days, if they still haven't bought, you know, you want to offer them a 10% discount because selling something at 90% is better than not getting the sale at all. Um, MailChimp does allow you to do that. Another app um, that you can kind of, you know, play between the two, I guess, is Consistent, Consistent Cart. Um, Consistent Cart is pretty much based around the whole van cart. So they're a little bit more specialized. Um, they also work really, really well. Um, they do have really, really nice email templates and stuff. You can see that's how it looks. So items in the cart, completed order, um, abandoned cart, and then it goes ahead and sends all the emails and stuff. So they're a little bit more specialized. You can kind of choose which one you want to do. The nice thing about uh, Consistent Cart is it does have a whole lot of pop-ups. In my opinion, I would just recommend going with MailChimp. Um, it's cheaper. It can do more or less the same thing and then everything will just be in one place, but you can have a look at it. All right, so those are the top five apps that I think are a must have on your store. What I've gone here and done is just gathered an additional three bonus apps, okay? So I use all five of those apps on my stores on all of them. These three apps I use on specific stores, depending on what I'm doing and if I need it. Okay, so this app is called Ultimate Special Offers, okay? Essentially, this thing allows you to do a ton of different pricing products. So, for example, a BOGO, buy one, get one free, bulk, bundle, volume, goal, and gift, upsells, cross-sells, schedule sales in advance, etc., etc. So, for example, um, the, where is it, the bulk. Essentially, that will allow, if people buy five products, they can get, like, 30% off or 25% off, something like that. Um, same with the, bu the buy one, get one free. Um, same with the volume. Same with goals and gifts. So essentially it just allows you to do a ton of very special offers. So instead of just saying, hey, this product's cool, come to the store and buy it. It's, hey, if you buy one, we'll give you one for free. Or if you buy two or buy three, we'll give you 10% off, something like that. This is the best app to use. All right, now Recart, this app does a ton of stuff as well. So remember we spoke about abandoned cart emails, Recart does the same thing. Um, the reason why I put it as a bonus app is because it's actually not what made Recart so popular um, and Recart is also quite expensive, whereas MailChimp is free. But the big thing that Real, uh, Recart does, which is what makes it stand out so much, is this little button here. Um, for send to messenger. So let me see if they actually have a, yeah, they do. So pretty much everyone has Facebook and especially if you're showing them ads on Facebook, they obviously have Facebook. Um, and then if most people have Facebook, they will also have Facebook Messenger, which is kind of the app like that. It's like a text messaging app if you haven't used it. Um, so let me give you a statistic. Emails, their general open rate, on a good store is about 30-35%, okay? The open rate on messengers are generally about 60%. 60%, 30 percent difference. That is a huge difference, all right? And the other thing also is a little bit more personal. So if you think of emails, if you open up your inbox, you've got tons and tons of emails and a lot of promotions and a lot of spam. 
and just a mess. Whereas this, it comes up on your phone like a normal WhatsApp would or a normal Facebook, Instagram notification. Uh, and literally just comes up there as a normal notification which people can click on. And this is how it looks. So it's say, uh, hey, uh, the name it looks like you left some items in your cart. It will show some pictures. Um, you can also do things in Recart like offer them discounts, um, follow ups, send promotional stuff. Um, so yeah, that is Recart, really, really cool. Also, I would not implement this until you are at least making a few sales um, and your store is generating enough revenue to cover the $30 a month without even thinking about it. Um, because if you're not getting enough people to the site, because in order to get subscribed to Messenger, they have to also um, add the item to cart and click the little message box. Um, so you know, if you're getting people to the site and they're not even adding things to the cart, there's no point implementing this. Then the last bonus app that I have for you is called Privy, okay? Now Privy is a really, really cool app and the other thing is it's completely free, which is really, really great. It allows you to do a ton of pop-ups in order to capture people's emails. Um, so when you go into sites, you'll see this all the time. Um, I think they actually have some screenshots that see, um, they've got a whole lot of screenshots of like, that's how you set up the emails, but there's a basic example. You know when you go to a site and then a pop-up comes up which says like, hey, get 10% off if you enter your email, or hey, subscribe to our email list and we'll give you, uh, we'll let you know on the latest promotional offers and all that stuff. That is all done here in Privy. The other thing which you may or may not have seen on a ton of websites, I'm glad to have the image here, I thought I was gonna have to look for the other one, is Wheelio. Now, Wheelio came around a while ago and it pretty much wrecked e-commerce like it was a huge app everyone was using it um, it's kind of got overused and then like no one was using it I think now it's in that like middle sweet spot um, but I do think it depends on what you can't what you're trying to do with the brand okay why do I say that well let's think about this if you're trying to set up a luxury brand like let's say you want to do jewelry okay if you're trying to paint this picture of a expensive luxury brand that sells you know nice earrings and you know all these things you cannot have pop-ups like this at least i don't think coming up it looks it kind of breaks that whole story that you were trying to put together um, but if you're just doing a general store like a, a general amazon um, that sells everything and anything then they work really really well um, and essentially it just comes up and it says hey enter your email um, and then spin to win and then this little thing does a cool animation the wheel spins and then you get some sort of deal which is a bit of a trick because you can just set whatever the, re the result is in the settings and then it will generally be like a 10 percent or for a free free something if you buy something or something like that and yeah guys that was the top five apps i'd recommend as well as then some three bonus ones um, let me know down below what you think which ones you will be using and I will see you guys in the next video tomorrow.